My name is Nathan, and I'd like to introduce you all to our project Quantfin. So our project's goal was to make financial data more accessible and to provide a means of investing for non-financial professionals who don't have the necessary knowledge to do it for themselves. We wanted to explore ways in which technological advancements have and can continue to simplify sound investing practices and to further demonstrate the uneven playing field of finance around the richest 1% or so control about 50% of the total value of stocks. So our goal was to leverage algorithmic investing practices and data management to develop products that would help everyone achieve strong investing results, regardless of wealth or access to resources. We view this as a unique opportunity to apply our AIMS background to a seemingly unrelated industry. We did this using algorith algorithms to automate investing activities, which reduces costs and simplifies the process of investing for non-financial folks. We use cloud infrastructure to create an environment which hosts and updates our data daily while leveraging variable cost benefits. And we used API creation to improve ease of access and usability to higher level financial data. Thank you, Nathan. So let's begin with our first solution. We created an API. So imagine you're a tech person, but you're not a finance person, but you know you can work with data. So we created an API that would allow you to gain access to data. But additionally, we created a simple website that interfaces with our API to allow individuals who are not you know, tech savvy, but are used to just using Excel spreadsheets to be able to get data that's automatically merged, it's cleaned, and also free to use. Now this free part is important because there's a lot of websites out there that to download you know, information about income statements and balance sheets, you usually have to pay a fee, but we want to provide that data to our users for free. Next, Zach will talk about our next solution. So QuantionX is really about that whole hands-off financial solution. We wanted to give people a method to be able to trade without maybe a lot of financial knowledge or the time to go to them to check the market constantly. The benefits of QuantConnect is it's easily testable and every single other algorithm is shareable. So you can easily see the results from a very high level if you look at the graph below, but also get into individual orders and individual trades as well as statistics that it automatically gives you. We built currently three algorithms and we plan to build more moving forward. And what we wanted to do, what we wanted to allow people to do is really take charge and kind of have a choice to see which trading strategy fits kind of their general financial goals, whether it's high risk or low risk. With all that being said, in retrospect, what were our challenges? Well, we actually had no concrete vision from the start. We were kind of hoping that as we built something would arrive, we would arrive at something and be like, hey, look, we have a product, right? And that didn't happen. And that led us when we finally realized that we pivoted quite late and that made our final product, to, it wasn't to our expectations. Though we are proud of what we did, we think we could have done way more. And we think this is also due to some early onset burnout, you know, be it COVID, be it school, there was just a wide range of things that kind of slowed us down. And lastly, I think our biggest issue was optimization versus trying something new. We were, especially with machine learning, whenever our model wasn't working, we try, we just pretty much moved on to a different model. What we should have spent more time on is actually optimizing the things we had and making them better. So 